start. Sri Rahul Sripath further submitted that when a delegate is empowered by parliament to enact a policy and to issue directions which have a statutory force and when the delegate issues such guidelines having statutory force, such guidelines have to be read as supplement to the provisions of 1949 Act. Section 21 of 1949 Act empowers Reserve Bank of India in the interest of the banking policy to lay down guidelines in relation to advances to be followed by the banking companies. Thus, the guidelines are issued by the RBI for classification of NPA from time to time as a restructuring measure in order to avoid setbacks in the banking system. The NPAs do not generate interest and are account receivables. The object of issuance of NPA guidelines by the RBI is to minimize the problem of credit risk. The corporate debt restructuring is one of the method for reducing NPAs and such restructuring as a matter of banking policy cannot be treated as trading. One has to keep in mind the object behind enactment of the 1949 Act. The said guidelines are a part of credit appraisal mechanism. Dealing in NPS as part of the credit appraisal mechanism and as a part of restructuring mechanism falls within section 21 read with section 35 capital A of the 1949 Act. The obligations under a contract cannot be assigned except with the consent of the promises and when such consent is given, it is really a novation resulting in substitution of liabilities. Under the alleged deed of assignment dated 29-3-2006, not only the account receivable in the books of SBI has been transferred to fourth respondent, but also the obligations of the third respondent towards its borrowers slash fifth respondent, including the eighth respondent under the loan agreement secured by deed of hypothecation slash mortgage have not been assigned by the third respondent to the assignee and hence the alleged deed of assignment dated 29-3-2006 is unsustainable in law. Para. It has been submitted that no proper stamp duty as payable in the state of UP has been paid over the alleged assignment deed when the same is used to enforce rights over the immovable properties situated in the state of UP and before the said alleged deed of assignment is to be considered and taken as a valid document. The same is required to be impounded and the deficit stamp duty is to be recovered from the party concerned in terms of the provisions contained in the Indian Stamp Act and other laws in force for the time being. The substitution application filed on behalf of fourth respondent was not maintainable and the third respondent could not be substituted. It had no authority to assign its liabilities towards its customer that is fifth respondent. The tribunal by an ex parte order had allowed the substitution application without even issuing any notice on the substitution application to all the concerned parties to the litigation before the first respondent including the eight respondent para. Moreover, the assignment of debt is not the mode of banking business and the private respondents cannot be termed as borrower for recovery under the Act No. 51 of 1993 Act before the first respondent. Hence, the whole proceeding gets vitiated from that stage itself. The deed of assignment dated 14-8-2008 is invalid and illegal and the same was executed without paying proper stamp duty as applicable in the state of UP. The petitioner is neither a bank nor a banking company nor a financial institution nor a securitization and reconstruction company under the provisions of Surface Act.
the petitioner being a company is not falling in any of the categories mentioned above and it cannot be an applicant for recovery of the amount in question before the tribunal under the provisions of act number no. 51 of 1993 however the substitution application filed on behalf of the petitioner was not maintainable no notice was ever issued or served upon the eight respondent and the petitioner cannot step into the shoes of the third respondent there is no lease between the petitioner and the eight respondent as there is no oral or written agreement between them nor the eight respondent had ever rectified the alleged assignment deed stop